Have you ever stood in front of a massive cruise ship buffet, plate in hand, and wondered what happens to all the uneaten food on board? Cruises go through mountains of meals every week to feed thousands of guests, but when the buffets close and the dining rooms empty, what happens to everything that's left behind? Does it just go to waste? The truth might shock you. Cruise ships are floating cities offering everything from lavish buffets to fine dining experiences. Each one prepares tons of food every day to satisfy every craving, yet not all of it gets eaten. Leftover spreads, unfinished plates, untouched desserts. Once food hits the buffet, it can't go back to the kitchen. So where does it go? You might imagine it being tossed overboard, but the real story is far more surprising. Now, food waste isn't just a cruise problem. It's a global challenge faced by every restaurant, bakery, and supermarket on land. But here's where the story changes. Unlike most industries, the cruise sector has taken massive steps to cut waste at sea. Their efforts go far beyond tossing leftovers overboard. They combine technology, training, and innovation in ways that might shock you. The Industry Response In the last few years, multiple major cruise lines have launched bold initiatives to curb food waste across their fleets. Royal Caribbean Group committed to reducing food waste by 50% by 2025. And by 2024, they had already cut their waste by roughly 35%, saving millions of dollars while reducing their environmental footprint. Carnival Corporation, which operates lines like Carnival Cruise Line, Princess Cruises, and Holland America, achieved a 44% reduction in food waste per guest compared to 2019, surpassing its sustainability goals a full year early. Meanwhile, MSC Cruises earned a globally recognized certification for sustainable waste management at sea, setting a new benchmark for environmental responsibility in the cruise industry. And Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings installed onboard digesters that convert food waste into harmless liquid, drastically reducing what's left to dispose of. The Technology But how do these cruise giants manage to cut down on so much waste? The first step is knowing how much food is actually needed through smart food tracking. Cruise lines like Royal Caribbean and Princess use proprietary systems that track food supplies and estimate how much should be prepared on any given day. These tools account for passenger demographics, sailing destinations, and even the weather. A sunny day might mean more salads and grill items, a cold or rainy one, more soups and comfort foods. To make sure no food goes to waste during a voyage, artificial intelligence now plays a major role. On Royal Caribbean, Norwegian and Carnival ships, AI monitors passenger demand in real time, helping chefs adjust portions and menus as the cruise progresses. This isn't just technology, it's data-driven dining at sea. Behind the scenes, hundreds of sensors and digital scales collect live feedback from buffet trays and galley stations. That data travels straight to the bridge, where chefs and engineers review dashboards showing exactly what's being eaten and what's not. It's a high-tech dance between culinary art and analytics that helps prevent waste before it ever starts. Real-time feedback also helps crews plan smarter. If certain dishes aren't being eaten, that information is logged and used to refine future menus. The result? Less waste, lower costs, and happier guests. Chefs can now predict the demand for certain cuisines based on past sailings, ensuring just the right amount of food is prepared each day. Even the buffet experience has evolved. Many cruise lines, including Royal Caribbean, Carnival, and MSC, have moved toward interactive food stations, smaller, cook-to-order setups that replace oversized trays with freshly prepared portions. This approach not only improves food quality, but also dramatically reduces leftovers. And behind the scenes, there's now a growing culture of waste awareness among crew. Royal Caribbean, MSC, and Princess have implemented dedicated food waste management roles on board. Team members, whose job is to track daily waste, educate the crew, and ensure everything is disposed of properly. 
Every ship now treats sustainability as a shared responsibility, not just a corporate goal. And it's working. According to industry data, the average modern cruise ship now generates nearly 40% less food waste per passenger than it did five years ago. What once required dozens of dumpsters after every voyage can now fit into a fraction of that, proof that small daily actions multiplied across thousands of crew members make a massive impact. The Transformation even with all these efforts, some food will inevitably go to waste. So what happens to that leftover food? The surprising solution is waste to energy. Here's the real shocking part. Major cruise lines have found ways to literally turn food waste into power. On ships like Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas, leftovers don't just sit around. After they're processed, they're converted into combustible pellets that can be used to help power parts of the ship from onboard utilities to entertainment venues. This groundbreaking initiative reduces the ship's carbon footprint while providing a sustainable energy source, all thanks to food waste. But Royal Caribbean isn't alone in this mission. MSC Cruises uses a similar process. Food scraps are pulped, dried, and processed through dehydration systems before being sent ashore where they can be converted into biomass fuel. Carnival Corporation relies on an extensive network of food digesters that biologically break down waste on board, turning leftovers into liquid that can be treated safely without environmental harm. Norwegian Cruise Line does the same, combining digestion technology with AI tracking to prevent overproduction in the first place. Royal Caribbean's Symphony of the Seas, along with other ships in its fleet, has even earned a prestigious title, Zero Landfill Ship. That means nearly all waste on board, from food scraps to packaging, is either recycled, repurposed, or converted into energy. Fully equipped recycling centers allow for precise sorting of materials like plastic, glass, metal, and paper. Crew members are trained to ensure that every item, from used bottles to food packaging, is properly handled, keeping tons of waste out of landfills each year. But the real innovation here is how the entire cruise industry has transformed waste into a resource. When it comes to food scraps, they're not just tossed aside. Food waste on Royal Caribbean, MSC, Carnival, and Norwegian ships passes through specialized systems, hydro processors, digesters, or pulpers that reduce its volume and create compact, manageable forms of waste that can be safely incinerated or reused as energy. The energy produced from these systems helps power everything from laundry facilities to water filtration units, an ingenious way of turning what would normally be trash into something valuable. The future. This innovative method of turning food waste into energy is just one example of how the world's largest cruise lines are tackling the environmental challenges of modern cruising. By recycling food waste in this way, they're not only reducing what they throw away, they're also cutting emissions, conserving fuel, and making operations more efficient overall. What's even more impressive is that these systems aren't one-offs. They're part of a global effort across major cruise brands to make modern ships as eco-friendly as possible. Royal Caribbean, Carnival, MSC, Norwegian, and Princess are all investing in cleaner technologies, meticulous waste sorting, and advanced recycling programs, proving that sustainability at sea isn't just possible, it's already happening. It's a fascinating example of how innovation can turn everyday waste into something useful, pushing the cruise industry toward a more sustainable future and drastically reducing its environmental impact. Instead of letting leftover food end up in landfills, cruise lines now transform it into renewable energy or recyclable material, creating a closed-loop system that benefits both the planet and the people on board. The result is a significant reduction in both waste and emissions, helping operations run cleaner and smoother than ever before. And for passengers, it's a reassuring sign that their favorite vacation destination is doing its part to protect the oceans, one meal at a time.
In the end, the reality of food waste on cruise ships may not be as grim as it once seemed. By embracing technology, innovation, and a shared commitment to sustainability, the world's leading cruise lines are transforming how the industry handles waste at sea. Although food waste still exists, it's far less than it was just a few years ago. Modern ships are cleaner, smarter, and more efficient, equipped with advanced systems that repurpose leftovers into energy, recycle waste into new materials, and ensure that almost nothing goes to landfill. Not only is this good for the planet, it's also a huge win for the cruise lines themselves. The less food they waste, the more money they save, all while delivering fresher, more sustainable experiences to their guests. But beyond the numbers, this shift represents something bigger. It's a promise that the cruise industry can evolve, innovate, and give back to the very environment that makes these journeys possible. Whether it's a Royal Caribbean ship converting waste into energy, an MSC vessel recycling food into biomass fuel, or a Carnival and Norwegian ship digesting leftovers into harmless liquid, each small action contributes to a cleaner horizon for everyone. So next time you're on a cruise, you might think twice before leaving that last bite on your plate, because even the food you don't eat might not be wasted at all. It could be helping power your ship, reduce emissions, and keep the oceans cleaner for the voyages still to come. And that's the beauty of it. On today's cruise ships, sustainability isn't just a policy, it's built into the journey itself. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. It really helps Cruise Insider reach more travelers like you. And if you're ready to keep exploring, check out the next video right here, packed with cruise tips, hidden perks, and insider hacks to help you make the most of your next voyage. Thanks for watching, and happy cruising!